It is time to cast our votes. Do we journey to the Grand Duchy of Esfrost or the Holy State of Hyzant? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I stand by my decision. You have my vote. Please forgive me. Forgive me, lad. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We journey to Hyzant. We have decided. We set sail for the holy state of Hyzant. Whether or not it proves to be the right choice will depend on our actions. I trust in you all. We are ready to set sail, Lord Patriot. Very good, my lord. When you pay respects to the Holy One and the Saintly Seven, remember that you do so on behalf of our king. Lord Serenoa, we are honored that you would choose to grace our nation with your presence. That said, I must offer you a warning as well. It may be in Lady Frederica's best interests to remain here in Glenbrook. I fear there may be some uh, complications were she to come to Hyzant. Huh? She is half sister to the Archduke and my betrothed besides. What complications could there possibly be? None, if I had any say in it. However, the matter is more delicate than that. Your lady's hair would draw attention. Unfortunately, none of it favorable. My mother's hair. The pink locks of the Roselle. Mother once told me of how her people fled Hyzant. Then you know how the Roselle are viewed in our nation. How the Gospel of the Goddess regards them as sinners. Yes, I do. But I am from Esfrost, and I assure you, I have committed no sins. Of course, my lady. Very well, then. I will do all in my power to see your visit is a pleasant one. Thank you. Pray forgive my outburst. You've no need to apologize. Still, I must ask, are you certain? I must go. I would see with my own eyes. See where and how my mother and her people suffered. By order of King Regna, Serenoa escorts their esteemed guests back home, beyond the forest and over the mountains to a vast, sand-swept land. Before long, a grand wall of stone rises before them. Known as the Goddess's Shield, behind it lies the Source. Nozelia's only supply of salt. 
Upon the lake shores of the Source towers a giant likeness of the goddess, ever watching over the flourishing city and the palace below. This is the holy state of Hyzant. Tales of the goddess's shield, but its grandeur surpasses even my imagination. It protected the holy state from both Glenbrook and Esfrost during the war. None in history have succeeded in breaching it. Do you think you might fare better, Lord Serenor? I think penetrating these walls would be nigh impossible. <laughs> A most courteous answer. I should have expected as much. the hour of worship I've heard so much about. Indeed. Hyzantians offer their prayers up to the goddess's statue every day. They thank her for her blessing, for bestowing us with the source from which all Norzalia's salt is harvested. To see every citizen pray is astonishing. Goddess truly is at the center of all Hyzant, just as the stories say. Even so, are there none who'd use this time of worship to rob their fellow citizens? There are none so misguided among the Goddess's believers. All Hyzantians are guaranteed food, clothing, and shelter. The Holy State has done everything in its power to eliminate poverty and ensure equality. As a result, no one envies others or craves riches for selfish reasons. Certainly if everyone were equal, there would be naught to fight about. But achieving absolute equality is impossible. The words of an unbeliever! The Goddess showers her blessings fairly upon all who follow her teachings. <sighs> Before we visit the Hierophant, there is one thing I must tell you about Lady Frederica. Under normal circumstances, the head of our nation would not permit an audience with one of Rosellen Extract. We have explained the circumstances, however, and she has been granted special permission to enter the palace as an envoy. That said, we would ask that Lady Frederica remain silent before the Holy One. Silent? Why? I reiterate that typically she would not be so much as allowed to attend. We ask for your understanding of our creed. You mean to treat one of Glenbrook's delegates as if she weren't even there? Prince Roland, you are here in secret. It would not do for you to gainsay another nation's religious creed. I have no objections. <sighs> My apologies. You needn't apologize. Let us do what we came here for. We appreciate your understanding. Now then, let us show you to the palace. Hmm. 
That is where the Hierophant resides. The Hierophant imparts us with the Goddess's divine messages. None are allowed to look upon the Holy One's face. None save Minister Edor, who conveys their divine words to us. Pardon our intrusion. Lord Serenoa Wolfort of Glenbrook has escorted us home on behalf of King Regna. The Hierophant speaks to you. Serenoa Wolfort, we thank you for your gracious gesture. We are overjoyed and humbled that you have chosen to grace our nation with your presence. I am unworthy of such high praise, but honored nonetheless. House Wolfort and Hyzant have shared a deep bond ever since the Sultan War. On behalf of the Saintly Seven, it is my wish that our friendship will be as strong as it was with your Lord Father. But of course, I strive to one day measure up to his greatness. You will also, in time, succeed Lord Simon as advisor to the mining venture, I hear. The Hierophant would hear your true thoughts on the endeavor. I think it a significant stepping stone toward peace between the three nations. A safe reply, to say the least, Lord Serenor. It is an ideal, an ideal that I can only hope is shared by all those involved. If I might ask, what is the ideal to which the Holy One aspires? I would share the Goddess's blessing with all of Norzelia. The Holy One wishes for a world where people are equal. The Goddess always watches over those who believe in her. May you all receive her divine protection. I apologize for visiting you in secret, but there is something I must ask you. I have heard that the people of Hyzant live in equality. They say the Goddess showers blessings upon those who follow her teachings. But is that the only reason? Oh, a studious one you are, Prince Roland. King Regna has raised you well. Of course, the Goddess's teachings are at the core of the equality our citizens enjoy. But there are many measures taken by the Holy State to ensure the happiness of our people. Minister Lila's Ministry of Medicine, which dedicates itself to the study of preserving life, is another example of this. The results of their research have allowed many people to overcome illness and injury and live long, healthy lives. Fascinating. I would like to hear more about Hyzant's medical discoveries. I see we managed to pique your interest. Minister Lila, I leave our guests in your capable hands. Pray, show them around the Ministry, and let them admire Hyzant's pursuit of life and magic. Rosalyn, I heard she's an envoy from Glenbrook. Be that as it may, is her kind even allowed to enter our halls? I can only assume she received special permission since Minister Lila's showing her around. Huh. Ironic, considering the wishes of us researchers are hardly ever granted.
What a splendid facility you have here. I can see why your nation excels in the medical arts. Normally, only ministry staff are allowed in. Having outsiders view our work is unprecedented. We cannot thank you enough for your generosity. If I heard correctly, it sounds like you are researching life itself. That we are. In order to cure illnesses and injuries, we must set our sights high. Even illnesses deemed uncurable in other nations? There is no miracle panacea in this world, but we like to think nothing is impossible. Wonderful. And would you be willing to share those results with others, should you achieve them? If you believe in the Goddess's teachings, yes. At least, that is what I would expect the Holy One to say. Minister Lila, the preparations for the experiment are complete. My apologies, but I must get back to work. You are free to take a look around. However, I ask you to not enter the restricted area. Of course, nothing is free in the Ministry, nor anywhere in Hyzant. And of course, when people are forced to adhere to teachings, there are some who will resist. Who might you be? Just a researcher, nothing more. What was his problem? Saranoa. I could use some fresh air, if you don't mind. But of course, let us take a break outside.
We got our hands on a fine souvenir, thanks to Lady Frederica. It is quite the feat indeed. Saranoa has terrible taste when it comes to gifts. Thank you indeed, Frederica. It was my pleasure. Should we ask Minister Lila about what ails Lord Seema? No. Even now, Lord Simon commands great influence. We cannot let others know about his condition. I understand. Not even our allies can know of our weaknesses, lest they use them against us. Indeed. We cannot risk exposing ourselves to such danger for the young lord's sake as well. Here's there is a stir around the ministry. I shall investigate.